It's late 2023. Taylor Swift is a billionaire and gracing the cover of Time magazine as their woman of the year. She has been out on the road on the highly successful and acclaimed Eras tour, which even produced a movie that went on to gross over $250 million theatrically. I went and saw that film and I made a review of it on my YouTube channel and I was really inspired by the positivity that came out of the comments on that very video. One person recommended me a few other films featuring Taylor Swift, including the Miss Americana documentary. And indeed, I rewatched it partly out of inspiration to create a follow-up video about Miss Swift. I wanted to talk about how Taylor had faced such adversity in her life and in her career, and yet now appears to have won. She truly is on top of the world. And yet, exploring this and doing my research, I fell down a bit of a rabbit hole. You see, all roads seem to lead in one direction. A direction which was to what I feel is the most important album of Taylor Swift's career. When talking about reputation, the first thing I want to talk about is reinvention. 1989 made Taylor Swift a huge pop star, but people were starting to doubt her clean-cut image, and the discourse about her relationships was increasing exponentially. This despite the fact that Swift had already addressed these things in songs such as Shake It Off and Blank Space. Swift was feeling increasingly unwanted, saying in the Miss Americana documentary that no one saw me for a year. I thought this was what they wanted. The Reputation album broke a two-year album cycle that Swift had been on up to that point. And not just that, but she was winding down on social media posts too. She would stopped doing interviews. All this really came to a head with a social media blackout that happened in late August 2017. Swift's team had gone through and they had removed everything from her socials. Suddenly you go on the pages and they're blank. Swift was going through something of a of a reinvention and a fresh start. And indeed, from this point, really went on to own the narrative. The discourse was becoming increasingly horrible and hostile towards her. There were feuds that were beginning to occur, most notably with Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. A lot of you may know this, and the Swifties especially, I know you know this information. I don't want to go into this in too much detail, but of course there was the edited phone conversation that unfortunately at the time a lot of people seemed to take their word on it. I, from what I remember and from what I saw doing my research, there was a lot of negativity to, to Swift around this. And inspired by Kim Kardashian and something that she had said, um, suddenly all of Taylor's social posts were being pelted with snake emojis. I can imagine this must have been really horrible and overwhelming for her as an artist. And yet, when she did these free cryptic videos post her social media blackout, these videos were cryptic videos with snakes. She even went on to use snakes as part of the marketing for the Reputation album. She essentially took this horrible thing that was happening to her, this abusive thing that was targeted directly against her and made it her own. Not just that, she used it to empower her. Taylor used the concept of Reputation to address her critics head on and have her say. And going back to what I was saying about she basically stopped doing interviews, she instead utilised her huge and supportive fan base using her social media posts to do the talking. She was going to take control of who she was as a woman and as a public figure. And no one but her was going to tell the world who she is. In the Miss Americana documentary, Swift admits that as a kid she wanted to be seen as good, and we get this sense that she was looking for validation as a performer. She even said around this time that she had to deconstruct an entire belief system and gain happiness without anyone else's 
input. Reading about this time and just thinking about it as a human being, I believe that this this was a period of extraordinary growth for Taylor Swift. I actually believe that, you see, as I said, people were doubting the clean cut image and you could say that she came back in the reputation era as a more authentic version of herself. And although I believe that's partially true, I believe that that's not the whole story. That actually, she went through this, when she came out the other side of this period, she came back much more fully formed, much more nuanced, and with much more to say. Not only was she able to become more authentic in her public persona, but I do believe that her personality truly matured during this time, and she became a much more well-rounded person. It would be obnoxious for me to say that she'd begun as a girl and become a woman, but I think there is some variation of that statement that you could say that I believe would be accurate for this period of Swift's life. Swift was already successful before Reputation. 1989 was a huge pop album, and frankly, she could have ended her career right now. I'm sure that she could have set herself up easily and gone into retirement, but she didn't. She was faced with tremendous adversity and disdainful injustice from the media and online discourse. Swift took a bold direction with her career and she made an album that all at once addressed the negativity labelled against her, embraced the lessons that she learnt in life and completely owned the narrative, empowering her as a woman, as a musician and as a public figure. By being bold and standing up for herself and her accomplishments, Swift went on from becoming a successful pop star to becoming one of the most important and inspirational personalities of our time. I don't think you need to be a Taylor Swift fan to appreciate what Swift had accomplished during this period of her life. I think anyone can look at this and they can learn important lessons about self-empowerment and self-improvement. It was during this time that Swift truly became the amazing woman that we see now, the one that is gracing Time Magazine. Guys, thank you for watching this video. For those of you who don't know, I am also a musician and a songwriter and I'm looking to kind of break out if you like. Recently I put out a five track EP named Silent Size in the Dark and if you are a Taylor Swift fan, I would probably recommend the first two tracks, You're the Inspiration and I Should Know Better. If you liked the video and you felt the why I had to say had value, please feel free to like it and maybe even share it with your own friends and your own social networks. Um, sharing is a really, really good way of kind of triggering the algorithm and can help a small YouTuber like myself reach a bigger following. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in another one. Take care.